My name is Ratsani and welcome back to Cult Simulator. We recently picked up VAC. Discussed that with Follower and we didn't get anything. Okay, um, is it a... Is it a moth follower that I talked to? Hang on. Doesn't seem to be a moth follower that I talked to either. And read the iron book. Oh, that's a super high level forward. Thank you. The final part of the manual describes the punishments for auto members who break the oath of secrecy. This includes an invocation used to summon the spirit called King Crucible as an agent of vengeance. Yivni cautions that this must be a last resort when the Oathbreaker would otherwise go unpunished. Summoning King Crucible might draw the personal attention of the Forge of Days. The names of the Forge have all spoken these words. Use this in a rite with knock influence and a bone flute. I have knock influence and a bone... No, I don't have knock influence right now. Damn. I mean... I might? Right, you're asking for an influence, so I don't have that. Wait, if I... If I do chuck that in and then Kaladate is my invocation, is there anything I can do? With at least five winter and one lantern, I could know. Okay, so I just can't use that as my trapping there. Um, that counts as an ingredient, of course, of course. So I don't want to use the Rite of the Watchman Sorrow because that sacrifices the law. This uses an offering that then gets, like, eaten, right? Bone flute, Grey Dawn oil. I feel like I'm holding on to a lot of these ingredients that maybe I just don't need to be holding on to. So if I throw Enid in there, there we go. Forge for the Smoky Spirit Summoning Winter for its binding. Uh, it must know who will rule it. Sure. Let's get ourselves a Kalajin. Doors have two purposes. To open and to remain closed. Today, this door remains true to its second purpose. We'll, we'll get through that. Don't worry. Okay, who makes me money? Knock? Grail? It's not Grail. Uh, fine. Give me the Kalajin. Our tools are ready. We should be able to penetrate this water door. Oh, great. We got a breach. Oh, crumbs. Looks like it's trying to take my HP. I hope it doesn't just straight up kill me or something like that. That would be dumb. That'd be super dumb and I'd be sad about it. I don't even know if I got my health back there. I mean, it gave me something back and I have a roughly reasonable amount of health. So I think I probably got my health back. Um, it's actually... Finish that treatise. As well as start getting some reason. Logistical difficulties. Okay, okay, okay. The Elegaist knows what is lost. His power will protect us. There's our commission completed. And reason there addition. I'll chuck this reason in here and then I'll start handing in my reports. Uh, I should really order these in such a way as to know who wants which. Okay, you don't want that one. There we go. So it's 10 seconds per fulfilled commission. Uh, 
Oh, we got a glimmering from that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, I try not to swear. Um, well, that's a problem. That's that's a that's a problem for us. You wanted forge, right? Nope. Winter. Mhm. Mm I thought it always gave you erudition. I guess I was wrong. Well, I mean, I guess I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. Um, which is, you know, a problem. Right, May, I think you asked for the forge. It's another erudition. Ibn al Adim. It's another erudition. The crummy thing here is I'm so close. Okay, hang on. I know I can get erudition from one of the ways. I think it's the white door. You know what? I actually think it's the wood. I'm going to try and get some erudition from that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, while I'm not using the talk verb, though, I am going to get... I don't have any Forge followers at the moment. Bum, bum. Gosh, we have a lot of Mystique. That said, Mystique is fine if I don't have any notoriety, right? Just makes them look harder for notoriety. If I have no notoriety, it's fine. Just like that. Okay, so the progress of the heavens. The great telescope has rusted and fallen from the dome. The lenses have cracked, but pale light rotates slowly above the floor like lamps held aloft by dancers. Perhaps they imitate the procession of the heavenly bodies. Perhaps their motion mourns the passing of the sun. So the problem here is... No, wait, can I just study to get another edition? I totally can. Cool. All right. All right, 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 all right. Now, ladies, yeah. All right. The chief of the astronomers who dwelt here must have been a practitioner of the invisible arts in a cedarwood box under his quarters beneath the decaying bed. We find what we sought. We get the thirsting tantra, which I swear I've read before. Uh, in Sanskrit, easy. C.G. Burial, the temperance campaigner, published elements of this in a pamphlet, which had to be withdrawn and destroyed after it became too popular. We also got the dappled mask, which is a eighth level tool. In the forest where the moon couldn't go, the boughs of the trees were woven together like bandages or lovers. The moon might change herself to an ant or a bird or her sister, but the forest would not yield to her penetrations, no matter her caresses. One day, we came with our scissors. We severed the branches, and until the moon and the blood dappled the rotting leaves on the forest floor. And we also got another book, The Sevenfold Slaying of the Seven Coiled. An account of the destruction of the primeval hour, a god who was stone, written in Fusine. Okay. So, straight to the front of the line in terms of things that I can read. I need some more high-level areas, so how do I get those? Oh, right, I, I need to repair another mirror. Huh. <laughs> Hey, awareness of appetite. We got him. Boy, did we get him. All right. Let's get that notable scholarship in there. And then 
All of the erudition. All of the erudition. <laughs> I become wiser yet and a little bit more restless. Okay. What do you want? You need a bronze spin through, of course. All right, I should probably use the maid in the mirror in order to renew herself in... I mean, I could do it right now. Right, right of the Watchman's Sorrow and then use her as the sacrifice. Oh no, I can't use her as a sacrifice. I have to use her as a... Oh, lore is the sacrifice for that one. Hang on. One of these sacrifices is a person, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Apparently not. Can I use the maid in the mirror there? With a little more winter, a little more edge and a corpse. I might create a brutal servant. I do want that, but how do I get a little more winter? I mean, that's 10. That's all the winter I have. I'm a touch strapped, friend. So, Man in the Mirror is Edge, which that doesn't have, unfortunately. So actually, if I want to re-summon the Maid in the Mirror right now, I'm going to have to invoke with that. And then I don't even know if I can use this specific ritual. It's right of the map's edge. No, because I can't really use an influence in this one, right? Right of the Mother's Mercy? You want an ingredient? I mean, I like I can... Can you use some mountain site paste? Oh, hang on. High level indication there. Yeah, let's use it. Let's not get too precious with it. Okay, a profound scholarship. My skull creaks at the corners with the knowledge I've accrued. It's a third level scholarship. This currently only allows you to increase your reason further. Okay, so we don't need to go down that line as to... Allow you to promote better as a manual laborer. Allow you to create more ambitious paintings. Okay, so this one just doesn't really have a benefit for us at the moment to continue leveling. Because we always have enough reason for anything we want to do. Uh, I am starting to run out of money. In fact, I have exactly none right now. So I will sell the silver spin through because it's of high value. Uh... There's our mirror. Iron is the lowest denomination. Yes, so I can't use it. I, I need a bronze one. Let's get our commissions. So I'll put the edge first because it's count. So it's across and then down. Then your knock. Not doing anything with my reading at the moment, so I should definitely be doing something with it. Let's translate this from Fusine. Okay, Maybeche gives me. Maybeche, sorry. Madam, it's difficult for me to adjust. You have to understand, I'm very dumb. We've got. Commission from Al Adim, as well as that's about to give me a contentment, which I can use to knock out this dread. Hell yes. Secret history is very substantial. I mean, that only asks for six, right? We've got six. Oh man, you don't even sacrifice the man in the mirror to get it. Hell yeah. Oh, can I imprison them? Then use them as my offering? 
If I had a place to explore, I would right now explore it with both of my maids in the mirror. Unfortunately, we don't have a place to explore. So right now, we're not going to explore it with our maids in the mirror because we can't. Gosh, that's a lot of mystique. All right. Rid of the dread right now. Now, we've one final book that I can translate. It's in Sanskrit. It's this Tantra. There's our investigation. Next is with Knock. I'll give you the lowest I can and then throw in some reason just for funsies. My notoriety is wearing off. That's handy. Oh, that said, I should still try and get someone to actively remove it. Because there's going to be like a 40 second gap where I am vulnerable to that notoriety. Don't worry, I see the affliction on the board, by the way. I didn't have the money before to handle it. The serpent folk came to the great hooded princes, sorry, called the great hooded princes, came to know the order called the House of Leave and warred across miles with them. They made an alliance with the mother of ants whose children they had been. Back down there. You want a forge? I'll give you some forge. Actually, I'll drop that up there and then back across. Just make sure it doesn't ruin my piles. This made in the mirror is actually going to wear out. Because I just started using the talk verb, so... The talk verb, sorry, the work verb. Well, at the very least, I now know how to summon them, right? It's not too difficult. That said, I should probably, again, wait to start summoning until I have some things to do. That is to say, some locations. And I get those locations by high-level secret histories. I get by going through the peacock stall with a cracked mirror, or rather the mirror, not the cracked mirror. Uh, and I get the cracked mirrors by having bronze spintria, and I get bronze spintria by having commissions completed. So I will be looking at the moment like I'm treading water, but I'm going somewhere with this, trust me. It's going to look a little like I'm treading water, and it's going to feel a little like that, and it definitely is that, but also we will be getting somewhere said at the moment may as well just do that excellent uh, did I not read this book I thought I'd started that book reading oh well I, th I think we are far enough from any lost conditions in this game. I think we've now got ourselves. It's like in Don't Starve, where I, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Don't Starve, but at a certain point in Don't Starve, things stop being threatening and it's just about what you want to do in the world. And that's, that's how it feels at the moment for me. Like all of the lost conditions are well under control. Definitely not fascination. Urgh, Vagabond's map. Okay, so that can have Vagabond's map. Good. Got another Amaranthine Nectar. It's not extraordinarily high in level. It's okay. Okay, now count. You want the edge. We've gotten dread. 
The text describes how the great hooded princes escaped or will escape from the fifth history where they had died or were doomed to die. They engaged in a secret conquest of the land of the great river, sometimes called India in some histories, and have ensured that all other conquests of that land are false conquests. We get a formulae ophidian. It's a high level knock. Uh, serpents are visitors which may not be denied. And as I mentioned, we also gain dread. Okay. The sevenfold slaying of the seven coiled. There are 12 verses. In the first, an ascendant hour, identified as the scarred one, enumerates his justifications for destroying the seven coiled, its appetites, its growth, its enmity to humanity. In the second, a priestess puts out his eyes and scars his skin to protect him against the seven coiled magics. In each of the next seven verses, he destroys one aspect of the seven coiled. Well done, you. Yeah, take Mystique. I don't care. I'm going to be building a bunch of Mystique here. And you can do what you like with it. Actually gonna quickly go to Aura Flames and sell another silver. And then Dr. Ibn Aladim. Those and hell yes. All right. a lot of erudition to go to waste, but nothing to do with it right now. Okay. Let's repair another mirror. Seems like the right thing to be doing. And ooh, 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 another one that gives us dread. In the 10th verse, the Scarred One bathes his priestess patron in the blood of the Seven Coiled to lend her power. In the 11th, didn't they say there were... Oh, there were 12 verses, sorry. In the 11th, they assault the temple behind the world, entering it by force. That's got to be the Mansus. In the 12th, they swear a tripartite oath to protect their ancestors, their descendants, and themselves. We get the alignments of murder. That is an extremely high. Oh, these are the arts. There, uh, these are the arts that ensure an ending. It doesn't even give me any information about ascending it again. You can't be ascended again either. Okay, now we've we've too much dread on the board, right? So we need to stop reading for a moment, um, because it could be a problem. So, I know I can get contentment by going the way of the wood. I'm tempted to do that. I could also use those dreads as trappings in order to get some stuff done. But this, this verb is going to be tied up for a very long time. So, sure. Uh, let's go... Way of the wood with some passion. Are there any laws I need to be joining at the moment? Yeah, those two theatic invocations. I also have four erudition on the board, so it's a good time to be doing that. Also going to sell another silver. Okay. Just because I need the money. It's been repaired. Okay. So that dread is going to wear out first. So I will quickly order the bloody cup upon the longer lived. Oh, no. I don't have any lore. Oh, I'm a nonsense lord. That's my bad. Let's 
get our commissions right now. Because I've still got to wait for this to finish. Once reason, which I have, so it's going to be there for a while. Okay, hang on. It's that one first, then that one. The wildering mirror up where it belongs. Then Grail. And finally, Dr. Ibn al Adim's commission. Very substantial lantern. I'm actually stuck on that one. I can join my two Mansus glimpse in order to get it done. But still, like, come on. Hopefully this asks for erudition right now because it'll take this. Never mind. It decided not to. Uh, let's actually just start completing these commissions, right? Rider trees is on that heart law. And the dread just disappeared. Hell yeah. That's a lot of dread that just disappeared. Had no problem disappearing either. I'm actually going to use a silver in order to pay for another mirror. Just so that I can do something with those verbs right now. Because it feels very impotent to do nothing with them. Or rather to have them and to be doing nothing with them. That and excellent. Now that all that dread's gone, uh, gone, of course, we can start reading again. Oh, we got formulae voluptuous. There exists some pleasures, or rather there exists some pleasures intense enough to corrupt the laws of the physical world. Whoa, this formula can be used in right with, hang on. With bitter black bol uh, salts and a subtle rupture or other sources of similar power to summon Azim itself. What is Azim? The wickedly talented Adele Dazim. So subtle rupture. I know where we can get that from. Or rather, I know from where we can get that. Subtle rupture. If unused, this will become fascination. Ah, interesting. Subtle rupture. Subtle rupture. Rupture is, uh, is knock influence, I think? Hmm. <clears throat> Well, last night I visited the Worm Museum, which is both within the Mansus for security and without for safety. The hours have, cha uh, have charged the Colonel with its defense, and even the Lionsmith does not challenge him here. Winter is the chiefest aspect of this place. The worms thrive when things end, but they can also be ended, and if they must... And they must, if the Mansus is to endure. This morning, a chilly certainty of the Colonel's hand still lies on my shoulder. Uh, if unused, this will become dread, of course. The world is a size, each movement's a journey. This might be the personal attention of an R. Okay. I have to wait for my law to be done so we can start having a look. That's a lot of winter. All right. If I add knock, I might attempt a summoning, so it's high level. Knock it. Edge, heart, or forge. So, heart gets us a voiceless dead. Edge will get us made in the mirror. Edge, heart, or forge. Forge is not enough to get us a creature of the days because you need significant forge. Right, okay. Uh, well, let's get a... Why are we getting a made in the mirror right now again? Oh, because we need to get rid of the perfect frost? That is it, actually. 
Well, then I'll just use the perfect frost as a trapping to ascend someone. I don't actually need the maid in the mirror right now. I have nothing to do with her. Join our reason back up. I should be using my work verb for pretty much all times, so... Do a Grail Commission. Oh god, I don't even have my words for the Grail Commission. Damn. Let's do the Lantern Commission. Oh, I don't even have the law for that either. Damn. <laughs> that makes sense as to why I'm doing neither right now. All right. Let's go to the Peacock Door with a Wildering Mirror. The other one is cracked at the moment. Okay. And I guess it's time to read another book. Eh, erudition. Nibod, nibod. I have 19 laws. Not bad. It'll keep me kicking for a while. Okay, we got a silent disciple. That's definitely moth. And now I can do the growl commission. I'm just taking it. Okay, last night I opened the peacock door and beyond in it uh, and beyond it in the bright spaces of the house I met a pilgrim adept. I am almost ready, they said, to pass the summit of the house to prepare for the final descent. Perhaps you'll join me. I will need allies to fight for this place. There is a story to help you rise. I think I still need a lower level law. I mean... Maybe I can just skip straight over it? The Rending Mountains, it has been said, tear the flesh of history. It has generally only been said by people like Christopher Olopoli, but still there's a good reason to, good region to find the places that daylight history does not recognize. I've definitely read that before. So that has to be, uh, Tower of Revex level was lower than the one I did after it, that I can't remember the name of entirely. Okay. Thirsting Tantra. Tantra describes the satisfaction of thirst and how a mortal might, uh, might rise into the service of the thirsting power, but warns the consequences of rejecting those rarer thirsts for more common ones. A man of thirst so mighty one, whose mind clings to the actions in this world, will return from a place of action from that other place. Raw, that's a new right, actually. All right. Oh, yeah. Eh? Let's quickly move y'all over. And it is the right of seas feasting. This right calls on witch and sister to close the gap between what is and what may be. The adept pours or hurls an offering into water, preferably but not essentially the sea. So that's going to lose you a ingredient, I have to imagine. Or rather, an ingredient. Try and join these two Manus glimpses right now. Yeah. Can't read either of those books at this point. Finding a new place. And... Let's get Tristan to repair another mirror. I mean, these two are substantial, and that's very substantial. This one is nothing. So as soon as I finish all of them, I sh if this is how it works, I should get an iron, two bronze, and a silver. Snow's Keeper. A mountain peak temple of ill-omened aspect. Jewel bright fungus slicks glow in the snow. None has come here in a generation, but still, something moves within. And we're going to try and see what moves within in the next episode. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Cultist Simulator. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully, we will see you next time.